Hey, welcome to this radio video, and this is the uh, medium wave or AM performance of the Texan GR168. On medium wave, this radio is actually quite good. Um, I've been listening to faraway stations at night from the United States, and even the daytime reception of faraway stations is very good as long as you have a uh, little spot in your home that's uh, not too noisy here that's the big problem uh, I'm actually placed at a spot where there's minimal interference I've got this really big buzz throughout the uh, medium wave band here so uh, depending on where I am in the house uh, I can listen to faraway stations or not sometimes so uh, we're gonna start tuning around a little bit and see what we can hear starting from down at the band which starts at about 520 kilohertz. Area, and uh, you've got a lot of these big box stores now that put their garden supplies. Some of them are already out front. So I always find the Canadian Tire is always a good. This is 580 CFRA in Ottawa. The store has a sure sign. That Have you yeah. seen the Canadian Tire? Uh, uh, That's like a hundred kilometers away from my home over. here. It's great. It's brilliant. Because what they've done is they've taken all these spring, summer, traditional outdoor things. This is one of the stations that I use to test medium wave reception because a good medium wave or AM radio easily picks up CFRA. If I can't hear it or if it's really weak, um, usually it means that the station, the, the portion of the medium wave radio is not very good. So on this one, it's actually interesting, quite good. Had an impact uh, on balance sheets uh, for companies big and small, and uh, so now you have to find a period where you can catch up. So, what's spring going to be like? Uh, what's summer going to be like? It would be nasty, I think, if you had uh, two unpredictable seasons in a row, possibly. And some forecasters are one of the drawbacks of this receiver is the frequency that is off. Look at this needle. I'm on 580. AM and if we close in here with the camera you can see that I'm above 600 I'm like at 620 or something like that so it's a good 40 kilohertz off on the medium wave and that's the general rule on FM on medium wave and on short wave so and it seems to be pretty much the same level so I guess that it's not the radio itself that's out of alignment, but the needle is not placed correctly. So one of the things that I will try to do is actually see if I can actually move the needle to its correct position, and I think it's going to be pretty much okay on all the bands afterwards. And we managed to escape it, thank goodness. It's not coming. Yeah, I don't wish that they had it, but better than us. Yeah, I think there's a little shot of Freud there, right? We can roil in their misery. This one is 620 kilohertz, the um, WVMT, I believe it's WVMT Vermont, Burlington, Vermont station. Um, it would come in okay if it wasn't from this little buzz that I have. It's a much more important game. So give me the Troy Red Wings to beat the Montreal Canadiens and give me the Nashville Predators to beat the Buffalo This Neighbors. is our local sports all, station on 690 kilohertz. I'm taking the Habs tonight. They're going to beat the Wings. Sorry for you. Sorry. The means are your odds couple update. Well, those of you out there that have been uh, DXing for a long, long time, especially on medium wave, 690 is the old CBC Radio Canada frequency in French. CSN 690 Sports Center. I'm Sean Campbell, game day for Montreal. They are in Detroit, 7 o'clock puck drop. With... Montréal, ça va. Dans le secteur de Grand Bay, par exemple, du côté de la 10 West, on avait des travaux. This is our French 24-hour traffic station. Du côté maintenant, uh, what's happening de on our roads? On a une voie par direction. 24 hours a day, live broadcast. Jusqu'à 15h, 15 on changera de configuration. De toute façon, pour l'instant, Victoria, c'est un très bon choix. Jacques Cartier n'est qu'à pas tant vers Montréal que vers la rive sud. <coughs> Those of us who uh, have been saved, the uh, 
officials here on application. Uh, this is 760 kilohertz, a station, religious station, and I believe it's just across the border between Canada and United States. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there was a time when um, religious stations were not allowed on uh, the radio in Canada, and I think this station is like just across the border and transmitting towards Canada. Get into some trouble himself. He posted a 13 minute video on YouTube which shows several abrupt lane changes, tailgating, and other questionable behavior on the road. The SQ says they're looking into it. So, this is uh, 800 kilohertz CJ80, one of the popular English language dock stations here. And right Montreal. now, here's Catherine Wood at the CJAD 800 Traffic Center. It's a pretty nice drive out there right now. A couple of sluggish spots, including the eastbound Met between the Cary Circle and Stinson. Southbound to Cary has some volume between Jean Talon and Côte St. Catherine, and northbound is sluggish around Côte St. Catherine as well. 13 northbound before the 40. Watch out for a stall in the right lane. Spring ahead with 50% off your Via Rail tickets in the Quebec City Windsor Corridor from this. Ten forty kilohertz AM. This is a station in Saint Constant. That's uh, something like about 20, 30 kilometers south west of uh, Montreal. It's a country music station in general. This is 1280 kilohertz. It's an ethnic station. Multiple languages throughout the day. Lo que hacía falta, puro sabor, puro sabor, menos bla 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 y más música. Una radio 100% latina, 24 horas al día, 7 días a la semana. El Kiko.com, tu radio. Violencia, pobreza, abusos. Ya, no más. Es hora de cambiar. Energía positiva. This is an interesting uh, little station here. Wondering. Fourteen fifty. This is our fourteen fifty kilohertz Arabic station here. Usually, this station here that sounded like uh, Spanish is normally our fourteen ten kilohertz Asian station, and uh, now it's in Spanish language. Uh, so there's possibility that they uh, probably have some other languages also available on the station, basically. This is 1570 kilohertz station in Laval, Quebec. It's uh, about 20, 25 kilometers uh, north northwest of my location. This is 1650 kilohertz Radio Shalom station from uh, for the uh, station for the um, Jewish community in Montreal, and this is 1690 kilohertz the uh, Concordia University. Even though the radio doesn't state that it goes higher than 1610, it actually tunes all the way up to 1700 kilohertz. I don't know if that's the case for all of the radios, but this one sure does. So uh, basically, welcome back. You're listening to the starting rotation on CJLO 1690. I'm Justin, and there's just the ID CJLO 1690. We're going to talk a little bit of March Madness, but before, let me just remind you guys of the Burger the Bill question of the day: Who is the last Montreal Expo to score a home run? Winner. So this is uh, pretty much a performance you see. Uh, let's go just back here. 
Somos Energía Positiva en 14SM, el Kiko.com, aquí estaremos a la 2.30. Llamen al 514-722-6603, es la línea positiva. Si quieren mandarle, mandarle un mensaje positivo a sus seres queridos, a sus amigos. Well, we're monitoring this one because this is supposed to be a Asian station and I don't know if they uh, have Spanish also. Maybe there's a split Spanish and a Asian station. Energy positive. That's interesting. Bilingual, Spanish, French. Hmm, that's an interesting station to check for, actually. So, uh, performance, as you see here, is good. Uh, in, at night, I'll try to post another one at night with uh, American stations uh, coming in via the uh, Skywaves. But uh, great medium wave reception. Um, you won't be uh, having problems receiving stations far away or local on this radio, on the medium wave band, that's for sure. So, for that, it's a great radio. The only thing, I don't know if all the radios are like that, but this one is really off, as you've seen from about I'd say 40 kilohertz on the uh, medium wave band but if I look at the scale the scale is off on all bands above so it may be a positioning of the needle that's not right and we'll see what we can do about that if I uh, actually adjust it I'll post a video on how to open the radio and adjust it so if you ever have one or if you already have one and it's off like mine I'll show you how to actually adjust the needle so I hope you enjoyed these videos. This was the medium wave AM test of the Texan GR 168 73.